Hi everyone, I'm Asia Dang and thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Today is going to be a long video. I'm going to be talking about the equipment, the tools, the apps that I use to vlog and blog. This video is going to be all encompassing, hopefully answering all the questions you could possibly have regarding shooting, editing, writing, and that's about it. I will do time codes in the description box if you want to fast forward, but right now we are going to be starting with camera equipment. All right, first things first, my Canon 80D. I saved up long and hard to get this camera. Got it as a bundle on Amazon as it was rec recommended to me by a friend of mine. So with this bundle, it came with the body, uh, this lens, which is a 135 millimeter. It came with a Rode mic that I use when I use this camera to shoot. And it also came with an adapter that goes on the bottom. The main thing I look for, and it's a very minor thing, but to me it's pretty major in looking for a camera that I wanna use is if it has a flip screen. When you shoot, you can see yourself. You know what I'm saying? I'm using a different camera so I can see myself right here to make sure I'm still in focus and that the camera is still running. It also has Wi-Fi capabilities so I can um, transfer footage from here to my phone. The only thing that is a bummer about this is that it shoots really poorly in low light which is why I'm using my vlogging camera right now to film this video because it is a little darker during the time that I'm filming. It works great outside in daylight but um, the moment the lighting isn't the best. This doesn't really work and while you can fix the lighting or fix the brightness in this camera, I noticed that if you go too bright, it gets a little grainy. So that's why I got my vlogging camera and we will move to that one. So the vlogging camera I just bought and I'm so, so, so happy with it is the Canon G7X. I got this because I believe this is the camera that Clara Marshall uses. What Would Lizzie Do on YouTube um, has this camera when I first met her and she spoke so highly about it. So I finally jumped the gun and bought it once my old vlogging camera broke. Like I said, I bought it for vlogging, but I think it may even become my main um, camera for just all my videos and all my pictures because it's so compact, the lighting is incredible. It's easy to use and overall, for me, it's just a really great camera. Now the only, you know, caveat to all these praises about the G7X that I have is that um, when it zooms in and out of focus, or goes in and out of focus, you can hear that in the audio. So if you're recording like a voiceover or talking to the camera like I am, you need a separate, you know, audio hookup. And I'll talk about that later when I go through my iPhone stuff. Now for memory cards for my cameras, I've been using the SanDisk 64 gigabyte. To me, anything less than 64 is too little. This holds a lot of footage. There is like the 120 or 128 or something, but to me that's like a hundred and some odd dollars per uh, memory card. So I prefer to save a little bit more money and just delete my footage as I go. Okay, tripods, I got three. First one is the one I'm using and it is the most basic, cheapest tripod you can ever get. It is incredible. I got this off of Amazon. I really like it. It, I mean, it's a tripod. Honestly, I wouldn't recommend spending a lot of money on tripods because sometimes as a tripod, I use a side table with like four books stacked on top of it. So you don't really need a tripod if you don't have a lot of money to spend. I would concentrate more on the camera if that's the case. This tripod I also got from Amazon. I really like it. I pack it in my suitcase when I travel because it is nice and small and you can like bend these little guys and conform it to whatever you need. I use this a lot for when I am shooting in the kitchen just because I can like fit it in my cabinets or just on the kitchen counter and uh, it doesn't get in my way. And finally, I have the Vanguard Alta Series 70. I bought this specifically for overhead shots looking down. So I've used this on cooking videos and a couple of my travel videos. I don't really use it as much as 
as I thought I would, and uh, it is pretty heavy, but if you want those cool bird's eye view videos, this is the way to go. Next to my Canon G7X camera, my next favorite purchase is this guy. This is a remote that I use all the time for my Instagram pictures. I don't have a cameraman and Brian has his own life, so sometimes I'm stuck shooting my own pictures by myself and all I do or all I need is a tripod and this remote and I actually take pretty bomb ass pictures with it. No matter what camera you have, there is a remote for you. So I would highly recommend investing 10 bucks into getting a remote. In terms of lighting, um, natural light is key. I have spent a ton of money on lighting equipment and they all suck. I have never achieved that Ipsy Desi Perkins look and while that is a goal, as of right now I'm not spending any more money on lighting equipment and I'm just using natural light. So sit your butt in front of a really beautiful window and start shooting. Now in terms of background, this guys is just a board I got from the art store. I think it was like 10 bucks and that's it. All right, so now let's move on to the computer situation. So the computer I have is the 13 inch MacBook Pro. I am a Mac person. The last time I used um, anything else was in high school. My very first computer was a Dell. I can airdrop any photos, videos, documents from my computer to my phone and vice versa so it makes things really, really easy. And then I think the 13 inch size is just the perfect size for me. Uh, the 15 inch is just too big and is really heavy, or at least in my opinion it is, so I like my 13 inch. All right, now for editing, I use Adobe Premiere. I used to use Final Cut Pro 7. I learned how to use that in grad school for broadcast journalism, but once they upgraded to Final Cut, is it X or 10? I have no idea. Um, that was more like iMovie and something that I never worked with. So that is when I moved to Adobe Premiere because Final Cut Pro 7 and Adobe Premiere are very, very, very similar. However, if you are a beginner and just starting to learn how to edit, I would definitely recommend Final Cut. It is a little bit more easier to learn or to teach yourself. Um, and more importantly, those cool like Genim title graphics that you see, you can buy uh, preset templates to do that. Whereas for Adobe Premiere, you have to build those yourself using um, After Effects. And I haven't taught myself how to do that yet. I need to commit to learning how to do that. So if you're just starting out and want something easier, I would definitely rec recommend Final Cut. But Adobe Premiere is what I use and it is also what a lot of professionals use. So if you're looking to go into um, like the industry, I would learn how to use Adobe Premiere. All right, next, let's talk about Squarespace. While they are working with me on this video, I have been using Squarespace for the past five years. I first got Squarespace as a resume website while I was hosting and I used a lot of videos and pictures and text at the time for my website. And then since then, asiadang.com has moved from a, um, resume website to a blog to a resume website to a blog now and it's going to soon change into a different type of blog. So I'm going to be switching templates again. I've been switching templates a lot and that's the reason why I really really love Squarespace is because if you're tired of a template or if you're just going in a different direction you can easily switch the theme of your website. So right now asiadang.com is a very very mediocre blog but after heavy consideration and after seeing how much you guys all love Ask Asia, I kind of decided to switch asiadang.com to maybe like a Dear Diary situation where it's just me writing in my diary and I think you guys will really love that. Plus, I may alert be uh, starting to sell merchandise on my website as well, so I need to pick a template that can support that as well. Um, I believe over the summer Squarespace added 60 new templates. Two of them I really, really, really love. Also, what I really love about Squarespace is that their customer service is incredible. Like since I've changed templates so many times over the past few years, um, I've 
been stuck in some moments and uh, their customer service either via phone or remotely they've been able to take over my computer and just move things along um, themselves has been really really helpful i always recommend squarespace to people that ask me about my opinion that's why brian's vgog website is uh, built by Squarespace as well. And as always, I got you a discount code. Head over to squarespace.com slash asiadang and get 10% off your first purchase, which definitely actually adds up to a lot, so. All right, now in terms of music, we're going back to editing. I either use SoundCloud or I use this thing called Jingle Punks. I got access to Jingle Punks when I worked with Fox Sports. I don't actually know if, um, it can be used outside of the professional realm, but I still got the access code and no one shut me off, so I'm still using that. All right, external hard drives are really important, especially if you're editing video. I have two and they're both from Seagate. Mac compatible, you don't have to like reconfigure them. One, this one has my entire life on it, all the pictures I've taken, all the videos I've uploaded, or have been in are all on this. So this actually doesn't leave my house because if I were to lose this, I would lose my entire life. And this is the one I travel with. This has any um, videos that I am working on. All that footage is in here and I travel with it so I can work on the plane. But we got camera equipment, we got uh, computer equipment. Now let's talk about phone and what you need or what I use when I use my phone, but I can't find my phone, where is it? Oh, it's in my, it's in my bra. Cause I've been using it as a recorder. So this is the, um, I guess it's the iPhone six. I mean, it's a couple years old. I definitely plan on upgrading once the new um, iPhones come out, just because the video and the camera are much, much better. But this has been working for me and let's just talk about the apps that I use the most. I guess we might as well talk about this guy. Voice memos I use all the time. It comes in the phone, so you don't have to download it. Let me put this back. But I use it for voiceovers. If I have something in my head that I don't wanna forget, I will put it in a voice memo, and then I'm also using it as audio for this video. So a lot of uses, definitely recommend you actually using it. The next app that I use a lot is the Canon Connection. It is what I use, it's the app that I use to get photos off of my two Canon cameras. So I use that one a lot. The next one is called Spark Post. And um, if you follow me on Instagram, which you should be by now, is when I post those really bomb graphic Instagram stories, I make those in Spark Post. And for my photos, I use an app called Retouch. Basically, it's just when you have to remove objects in your picture to just make it a nice clean picture. Visco, obviously, everyone uses it, everyone loves it. I use normally the HB1. It is not a preset. It is a free download though, so you need to go through the downloads and look for that. I just like how it makes your pictures brighter. And while I don't have a theme, cause who has the time for that? It does make your pictures kind of look unified. And that is it. That Those are all the equipment. Uh, programs, apps that I use for blogging and vlogging. I hope all your questions have been answered. I really, really, really hope that. If not, please let me know in the comments. As always, all the equipment I talked about are going to be in the description box, as well as a link to the 10% off for Squarespace. If you're looking for a website to make yourself, go ahead and check out squarespace.com slash Asia Dang. Um, I'm Asia Dang, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, my album. Bye, Brian Puspos' album, Sweet 290. Link will also be in the description box. Bye.